lung cancer kills more women than breast cancer and colon cancer combined. There's now CT low dose screening protocols, but there's been no real easy or safe way to get diagnoses for lesions or tumors in the edges of the lung. This is the super dimension or super D electromagnetic navigation. This technology allows us to safely navigate, quite literally, into the lung itself and out into the periphery of the lung to these lesions and obtain tissue samples without injury to the lung itself. This, to break it down, is essentially going to be a paradigm shift in the diagnosis of lung cancer. The smoking incidence in lung cancer incidence is higher in Franklin County than in other surrounding counties. We are very, very lucky and fortunate to be able to offer this technology to patients that have a strong smoking history and the increased risk of lung cancer and have spots on their lungs that otherwise we would have to either watch and wait or they'd have to undergo an increased or riskier procedure to obtain tissue data. This essentially is a navigation through electromagnetic navigation and it is truly a GPS. What it does is it marries a patient with a CT scan to the patient itself in real time. This software allows us to take their CAT scan and find the spot and trace the very small airways all the way back to the central airway and then it produces quite literally a purple line that's like a GPS. And we follow that line out to a certain spot and the bronchoscope only fits in the bigger airways. And then we have these tinier catheters with a special GPS tip and they're curved catheters that we're able to follow all the way out into the lung and it turns into almost a cartoon where we're trying to get our bronchoscope right up against lesion that we're trying to attempt to get a biopsy of. So it's a very complex and uh, IT heavy type of um, component, but it is uh, quite amazing. This improves quality and length of life if we get a diagnosis at an earlier stage. And the issue really is trying to be able to establish a diagnosis and be able to hopefully offer them cure. If we're able to offer surgery at lower uh, risk and minimally invasive techniques uh, and be able to offer them a chance for cure, this obviously improves their longevity and quality of life. And this is a game changer for the number one killer in, in malignant disease in that we're trying to downstage and bring down that risk of dying of that disease process in the screening techniques that we have and now with the navigation of bronchoscopy. And we're very fortunate that the foundation has allowed us to be able to have this technology at this institution here so that we can offer this to our patients and to the patients in the surrounding areas without having to go to big cities to get this done.